Hello everyone, welcome back to Technocrat MJ and I'm Nana here with a tutorial for you and today we are going to learn something which is really different from what we have learned earlier in Pixlr and that is how we can change day to night and that in Pixlr Express. Yes, it's not the editor. It is the Express. So let's get right into it. So the first thing you have to do is you can get an image of the lane. And after that, you have to add another image by adding a new layer. Add image. And I'm going to add the image of I. And after opening it, I'm going to adjust it. Now, after this, we have to go to adjust. And then we have to decrease the brightness to minus 68 after that you also have to decrease the exposure so it's entirely your wish that how much you want to decrease but do see and calculate and analyze yourself that which one do you think is better to make your image look like it is night after that you have to select this image come here and then you have to duplicate this and I'm sure you know how to do that. And you have to drag it to the top, which means above this. And after that, you have to go to the cutout tool, which is this scissor icon. And then you have to choose magic cutout. So after that, you have to just simply click upon it. And as you can see, it will be removed. And then you can do it. And the rest of it, I'll suggest you to use this lasso select, which will help you easily to remove the rest of the background. Now, we have to go to the adjust. After we go to the adjust, we go to the vibrance and you increase the vibrance to 20 or 30. I'm going to take it between that because I want it to look better. And then you have to decrease the brightness. And I think this is fine. After that, you have to increase the exposure. Then you have to also increase your contrast and also give it a black effect. Minus 2 will work, I suppose. And after adjusting, you come to filter and you have to increase the vignette to, I think, 40 would work. And you also have to decrease the clarity because we don't want it to be really clear as it is night. After you decrease your clarity, you have to increase the dehaze to 20 and also increase the bloom to 10 or 11. And now we have to go to the layer setting of this and then we have to duplicate the layer. And after duplicating it, go to the duplicate of this copy which is the copy copy not the copy and you have to change the blend mode of this to multiply and as you can see now it has become darker than it was earlier and then you also have to decrease the transparency so i'm going to choose 70 directly after you decrease the transparency go to the cutout tool shape cutout the mode should be removed and you have to select this entirely and as you can see it has been removed now because we only wanted it to have an effect on the sky and after you do this you have to use the draw cutout and the mode should be keep and just do it entirely everywhere so that we can reveal the buildings after this we have to add the image of some lighted windows which you can easily find on Google. Just search lighted windows images and you can get it. So you have to use the cutout tool to just cut out a little bit part of this and the rest of it will be removed. And after that, you have to extract it as layer. And after extracting it, you have to hide this one and then click upon arrange, which is this button and fit this window in any of the four or five places by duplicating it. So let me meet you in a second and show you what I have done. Now, as you can see, here's what I've added some of the windows and then 
you have to add an image of a flare and I hope you remember what it was and if you don't do check out my previous video and now we're going to add the image of the flare so this is the one that I took in my previous video and I'm taking it right now as well and just I'm trying to keep it under this because it is a um, street light and I'm going to change the blend mode to screen so that I can easily remove the background and I'm going to fit it directly under this and then you have to duplicate this and as you can see we have one more street light here so I'm going to take this duplicate and place it directly under it but a little bit of decreased size and then you have to create an empty layer select the drawing tool after selecting your drawing tool select the triangle by coming to first of all the shape tool and the triangle and the color I have taken it as a color code so that's FFE 600 which is yellow and now I'm going to draw a triangle under this and then I'm going to arrange it and you can unlock the aspect if you want to make it stringed and bigger but if you don't want to and you are capable of doing it without unlocking go ahead after that we come to the filter tool and we have to blur it to 65 to 70 but I think 65 is fine and then we come to our layer settings and we have to decrease the transparency to 50 that means half of it so as you can see this is how it will look like now you come back to your cutout tool and you have to choose to draw cutout and then increase the softness to 100% and the size is fine and then you have to remove the part of the spotlight that is touching the ground so it will just look like it's falling and then you have to make a duplicate of this and then you have to bring it directly under the street light and after you're done with this you have to merge down these both as one now you have to make a new layer which will be empty and then click upon the drawing tool and this time I'm going to choose the color with the color code that's FFE 200 not 600 though it's yellow only and then you have to give an effect of windows and now you have to add another layer which will be empty you have to go back to your drawing tool and the size this time will be 668 and 670 would as well work the color this time should be white and then you have to give a foggy effect in the center of the road and then you have to go to the layer settings of this and change the transparency to 50 and after doing this you have to add another layer which will be empty again but this time increase it as much as you can and try to pour some dots here and after you're done with that come back here and decrease the transparency to I think 10 or 14 and now let's add some elements so you come to your elements click upon overlay and you can search for some gradient effects so um, let's see which we can add let's add some grads and in this we have to search for the one which looks like it's night I think this one is nice and right now it looks that it is not but let me give you the solution to it the solution is layer settings and blend mode and overlay it does look spooky doesn't it and now you have to come back to this sky layer you go to the adjustment and then you have to decrease the brightness entirely to minus 100 and I'm also going to increase this exposure because if you decrease the brightness it's obvious you have to increase the exposure and then 
the contrast can be two or three i think two would work and after doing that you have to apply don't forget that now come to this layer go to adjustment and then you have to increase the and you have to decrease the brightness of this one as well and you have to increase the exposure and contrast as well and apply so as you can see this does look like a night effect so you can see that what was the image before and what is it now and i hope you like this video don't forget to give it a like and subscribe my channel thank you everyone and bye